aware on Halita Gun. Good morning. Good morning. I love this time of year. Because yeah. it's the men who cook. Yep. I, I love this event. This is one of my favorite events. Well, thank you. It's so thank fun. you. How long have you guys been doing this? This is our 12th year. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe it. They're great. You've been to them, but you haven't been a man who cook. No. Why don't you? Oh, what, what, what's that into? all about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'd make. Are you, uh, um, do you consider yourself a home chef? <laughs> Culinary skills? I don't consider myself. <laughs> Any of that. Do you know how to boil eggs? <laughs> yeah, I can do that, but what do you... Um, what would you uh, make? I don't know. Pie? <laughs> oh. No, we already have go. someone who does pie. I don't know. It's so good. Um, yeah. Everyone has their specialties. I, I think it's fun for me to just walk around and eat. Well, good. Are so you, does that mean you'll be there? I'll be this there. Year? Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll be Perfect. there for sure. Good. Are you still looking for cooks? <clears throat> we are. Yes, we are. So we're up to 12. We've okay. got quite a few new people this year. Oh, who do you have? I had to bring a list because there are so many new people. So we have some folks returning like Brian Dumont mm. from FLR and Aaron Dimmick and Shannon Arnett, Ryan Felty, who's on our board of directors, David Girding, Chad Kennedy. But we also have some great Darren McIntosh, Luis Renaga, Vic Shiro, Vincenzo Silvesti, so um, we've got some local police and fire cool. coming. Yes, yeah, so we got a little competition going with them. And the nice thing is, is you can eat all of it. Yes. You get to eat yep, and then vote. Eat, yep, eat, vote. We'll do it by, of course, audience applause, making mm -hmm. it simple. Um, but chefs can win uh, for best taste, for um, most creative workstation, and for the most tips raised for the event. So that's some, some of last year's pictures. We had a lot of fun last that year. It was a lot of fun. So last year we encouraged people, um, because it takes place so close to Halloween, we encouraged people to dress up. So we're gonna do that again this year too. This guy went as Adam Soper. Yes, Adam has been with us for several years. Um, he does a great job, real creative. Um, he tries a lot of different things. So we're never quite sure what he's gonna bring. There's Freddie. There's Freddy. He's a tentative. We don't have him confirmed yet, but we're hoping he'll he'll join us again this year. Is there a silent auction again this year? There will be a silent auction and a raffle. Nice. So um, we'll have some prizes, some fun times. There we go. There's um, Arnett, uh, Shannon Arnett. Thank you. There's, and there's uh, Aaron. Aaron and Matt. Yeah. Yep. People for the Parks and Trail. They did a great job. I think they won for best. Um, their workstation most creative last year. Ooh, a league of their own. Yeah. The, oh, I think he won for best um, taste. Good. He had great uh, burnt tips. That's a good costume. Yeah. You fun. will not be hungry when you leave this. No, event. you won't. No. Who's the guy that does those peanut butter uh, marshmallow <laughs> deals? <laughs> Is that guy I know. Uh, he, I don't think he's coming back this year. Those I think were good. We missed him. I, I think we missed him last year and this year. I'm not really sure. Um, why, but he's, um, yeah. I missed I it last year. Is. How much yeah. does it cost? And so uh, it's $40 to come okay. in. And um, of course, you know, all you can eat. Uh, people, Chad, of course, usually his portions are like a, yeah, they're huge. a dinner portion. But most people are encouraged to um, make enough to feed, you know, 300 people and um, smaller portions, so like a tapas or a, um, kind of like the chili cook-off mm -hmm. where they have those little. Yeah. So the idea is for people to be able to taste everything. I have yet to accomplish that. Yeah, it's hard. It's that really hard because you, you get your favorites and then you're like, hmm, I think I'll go back for more of that. Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, obviously a great uh, big fundraiser mm -hmm. for your organization. Yes. Uh, how, does, how, do, how do the funds raise help AWARE? So they help us with um, our operating support. Um, we get uh, probably about 69% of our resources to support our programs and our direct services through um, federal mm -hmm. grants. And then we have to raise the rest locally. Mm -hmm. So it helps us fill the gaps. Yeah, I, w I was uh, there. I've been to every one except one. Yeah. But I'll be back this year. Well. That's good to hear. <laughs> Didn't because we, we missed you. Did we do it outside one we year? We did do it outside. At the Rotunda. Yep, yeah. we did it outside the okay. first year of COVID. That's when right. When COVID hit, we weren't sure that we were going to hold it. And um, yeah. there were some other nonprofits that were being real creative with their fundraisers and mm -hmm. had done outdoor where 
you just drive up and you pick up a container of treats and that worked out really well too that, that year. Do you recommend people um, bring a friend, bring a table, and you can kind of sit wherever you want, right? Yep, yep. We do have sponsors, so there'll be some reserved tables okay. for a handful of our sponsors. And um, But yeah, you can sit wherever you want, you come in, um, you can um, purchase tickets online. There's our website on that flyer there. And then um, they're not physical tickets, we'll just have a list of the names of people who pre-purchase, but you can also purchase tickets at the door. I have a very busy week, and that's a Thursday night, correct? Mm -hmm. It's very a good. Thursday evening, starts at 6 p.m., and it'll be a lot of fun. One thing, too, I want to mention, it's family-friendly, and a yes. lot of these events that we all go to in the community, yeah. it's, you know, it's just not something you'd bring a kid to. Yeah. This one, you can sure as heck bring your kid yeah. to. Absolutely. Walk around, get some food, it's, yeah. a, great, it's a great idea. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's non nonstop entertaining, mm -hmm. too. That, yeah, it is. There's something going on the whole night. Yeah. Yep. We'll have music, and then the thing that I like that Bart does, Bart does the best is the um, chef parade. Oh, oh, yes, the chef so parade. So well, welcoming people in. Yeah. yeah. Was it last year we had the auctioneer, that young boy? Or was no, that a few, that was a few, few years, years yeah. back, okay. yes. That was crazy. Yeah, he was phenomenal, yeah, wasn't he? Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> that was a fun time. He was a lot of fun. Well, yeah. get your tickets, uh, but first get, get it on your calendar and mm -hmm. just you can just show up on the spur of the moment on uh, Thursday, October 26th at the Commonwealth Center. Yep. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for Thank having you. me. Anjali Gunn is the uh, Executive Director of AWARE. We continue with the morning show after this.